Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, it's Alex. I am back. I am excited. I am gonna do something that I haven't done in a while. One of the first videos I ever did was I did a Pokemon themed Nuzlocke to Drag Race. Ah, I'm excited. Season 15 was announced. It starts, I think, this Friday. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, if you haven't seen on my TikTok, I don't know if you have a TikTok plug right here. I am gonna do a Nuzlocke. This is me introducing the girls and the Pokemon I'm using as the girls, as the duels, as they say. I'm gonna tell you how I thought about these. So, let's go through the list. So, first girl out the gate, Amethyst. Her meet the queens, she just talked about her nose. Not much to go on, Mama, so I just went with her name, Amethyst, purple. So, obviously we are going with Sarah Ledge, Violet, exclusive. I don't know how far she's gonna go, but I want her to be strong and I want her to be ready. So, we're going with Sarah Ledge. Next, after Amethyst, we have Anetra. I am excited for Anetra. Anetra is giving me, she's giving me competitor energy. I love it. Her little Meet the Queen, she was in, she did that little, that little bobble thing. I, I was, I was into that. She's a new a Las Vegas queen. Alexis Mateo, Coco Montrese, Kana Montrese. Come on, the list goes on and on. Derek Barry. And some local talent. Okay, we're gonna cut that out, maybe. I don't know, who knows. Anetra, so. She gave me competitor, competitor, competitor. So with that said, we are going to go with Paldean Tauros. But we're going to go with fire type, obviously. Spitfire. Going crazy. Charging the competition. And that's where I might go far. I don't know. I think we're going to get to who is going to go far. Who I think is going to go far. But I think that's just going to be there. I need Tauros to be really good and really bulky. Uh, we'll see. After Anetra, we have Aura Mayari. So in her meet the queen, she just went by, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty. Look at that mug, of course she's pretty. Look at her, it's like flawless. It's like flawless. Like she is stunning. Not much to go on. Pokemon look wise, I kind of thought Vivillion for pretty. But obviously we got to go with a Sprigatito. Look at that. Sprigatito is beautiful. She's going to be our grass coverage. I don't know how far she's going to go, but we're going to have her. Uh, I bred her shiny, so we're going to have a shiny one. Not much to go off of, but that is our pick for... That is our pick for Aurora Mayari. After Aurora Mayari, we have Irene Dubois. Okay, I'm excited about her. She's got the uniqueness. She, her paint? Her paint? Come on! It's really good. I mean, it's only been the promos, so obviously they're gonna look good, but so far, so good. She talked about how she was an y she's out of this world. So, so obviously we have to go with Glimmick. When I first saw Glimmick, I was like, what the F is that? It looked like an Ultra Beast or something. Um, it looks out of this world, it looks alien. Uh, obviously we're gonna have to go with that. That's the only alien we have right now in the game. I hope she goes far. I think what, she's she's Bosso, Bosco's sister from Seattle, I think that's true. She's gonna be our staller. She's gonna be our toxic setter upper. Uh, and I'm excited. After Irene Dubois, we got Jax. Okay, Jax, tumble girl. At first, in her little meet the queen, she did that little tumble and hold her wig up. I was like, oh, Bramblin, hands down. She's tumble weeding all over the place, tumbling, tumbling, tumbling. So I was gonna go with Bramblin, obviously, but I needed coverage, so we kind of switched it up. She is now going to be our Quaxley. I know, I know. Why Quaxley? Because I need water types. Also, you know, Quaquilava is going to get Quaquilava. 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 It's going to get Aqua Step. Dancer. She's uh, what? She said she was a gymnast. She did cheer. She's a dancer. She's a bucker. She's coming. After Jax, we got Lucy DeLuca. De Lucy LaDuca. What the heck? I'm having a stroke today. Lucy DeLuca. Lucy LaDuca. Lucy DeLuca. Lucy LaDuca. It's... I was going to say... Oh my gosh, it's the freaking... 
ADHD, it's the Lucy LaDuca. She's giving me top three energy. I'm gonna say it right now. She's giving me top three energy. Hopefully that's true. She talked about she like peaks. She's a construction worker. Uh, we obviously don't have like timber or anything in this generation yet. DLC maybe. So not much to go on there. I didn't want to put just a generic pink Pokemon. Was thinking Jigglypuff, but she also said she liked horror movies. So with that said, we're gonna go with Shrudel. Shrudel looks like some monster villain that's gonna come haunt you in your dreams, chase you to camp, and have their way with you. That's all I'm gonna say. We are also going with the shiny, because obviously pink is there. Duh. It's gonna evolve into the, uh, what was this evolve into? It evolves into Grafaii. And look at that. Look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't look like some monster that's gonna come after you. Get away, Ad. You can't tell me that's some monster that's not gonna come for you. So, that's our pick for Lucy Laduca. I know how to talk. I can talk sometimes. I can talk sometimes. After Lucy Laduca, we got Lux Noir London. Top, 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 top girl. Like, come on. Like, she. Look at her. I'm excited for Lux. I feel like they're gonna go far. She's one of my top girl picks, so. Fingers crossed. With that said, Meet the Queens didn't get a really get a lot, didn't get a feel for what kind of Pokemon she could be. Her entrance promo in the little uh, catwalk. Not much to go off of there. She did dress up as a like bear. I was gonna go with Pommy. Didn't go with Pommy. So as the Pommy, I went with Tinka Tink. Obviously, she's gonna evolve into a Tinka Tough. She's gonna go far. Tinka Tough is bulky, not really of an attacker, but we'll see. She might be my star of the show. Who's my star of the show? Simone. Simone's the star of the last Nuzlocke. Um, but I'm hoping Tinka Tough goes far. I hope I don't lose her. Dyslexia. 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 After Lux, we got Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. So... Malaysia, Malaysia. She wasn't giving me anything. She wasn't giving me that ooh la la sensation. So I didn't really know what to go on. She talked about being a big girl. Okay, love that. Uh, she paints well. She talked about some little girl in her mom's daycare. I don't know. Not much to go on. No fox Pokemon that I can think of to put for her. Baby doll. I didn't want to use a baby Pokemon. Since she wasn't giving me a lot, we're going to go with Orthworm. I know, you're like, why Orthworm? And you know what? When I first saw Orthworm, I was not impressed. I'm just like, okay. Then his little face hugger legs popped out. I was just like, oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! I was like that. <laughs> but, you know, just like Orthworm, maybe it's gonna surprise me and be really good competitively. She's gonna sweep the competition and she might be a star. In the making, in the waiting. You know what? People might discount her, and I'm hoping not. So we'll see. She could be really good in this Nuzlocke, but she might go home early. Who knows? We will see. After Malaysia Baby Doll Fox, we got Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Sure, Jan. So obviously, 70s aesthetic. Loved it. Her promo, the little little backpack. Oh, good, great, great, great. So, with that said, 70s Pokemon, uh, I'm not feeling it, don't know where, what, but the girly who spoke to me the most was Flittle. A little frills on it. That's 70s, right? Sure. Psychedelic, psychic. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I just put that together right now. Psychedelic, psychic. Oh, oh my gosh, I, I surprise myself sometimes. Um, so yeah, obvious pick right there. Done. Need a little more explanation. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Flittle. Gonna be a Spartha. She's gonna give you the B.O.B. Calling you Bob. <laughs> I can't do it. Sitting down. But that's a pick. Uh, don't know how to feel how far she's gonna go. Hopefully doesn't go too soon. Um, but that's the pick for Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. After Marsha, 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 we got Mistress Isabel Brooks. Now, I'm excited. 
I like her paint. It's very reminiscent of some other girls. The outfit, I wasn't getting a lot from. She talks about being a big girl, too. I just want that to be more than just that. Um, but with that said, she talks about being a big girl a lot. How she's not big girl, she's big boned. And I didn't really get, didn't have anything else to go off of. She wants to talk about how she's a big girl, so we're going to make her belly bolt. Belly bolts? That wise has a lot of HP. Not going to get knocked out. Hopefully. Um, I own a hazard. So, not much else to go off of. And she had, like, yellow in her ent in her promo look. So, that's what we're going with. I'm excited. A lot of people are excited about her. So, we'll see. Hopefully, she works out. Long time. After Mistress Isabel Brooks, we got Princess Puppy. Talks about how she's funny. Um, in that 10 seconds clip she had, didn't get that. Didn't know how that translated to a Pokemon. She was nervous, can relate, anxiety. Um, but not much else. You know, we don't have much to go on. Sobble was in the last generation. So, the only thing I really had to go off of was her name. So, of course, we're going to go with Flabebe. Flabebe carrying that little poppy flower. Florges is a good special defense wall. So, we'll see. We'll see. I was going to make her Veluza because I needed more water coverage. But it didn't really. It didn't. It didn't go there. I was already stretching it with Jack. So, Flabebe is going to be Princess Poppy, obviously. After Princess Poppy, we got Robin Fierce. I don't know. Something about her Meet the Queens, like, she gave it. She gave it. And I was receiving it. I wanted more. I'm excited about her. She said her. she got her name from Raven. She wanted to be a little bird. Obviously, we can see where this is going, right? We're going to make Robin Fierce Fletchling. She's going to be my little Robin Pokemon. Tiny Robin Pokemon. There we go. She's going to give us the flying coverage. She's going to give us a Tailwind. Ooh la la sensation. I mean, most of these are going to be single battles. But anyways, I'm excited for Robin. I think she might go pretty far. I don't know. They, they might make her like vivacious so they're out early. I don't know. We'll see. After Robin Fierce, we got Selena Estetis. Uh, a lot. During the Meet the Queen, there was a lot. It was at a 12. I don't know, because when I was watching it, I needed it to be down to like a 4 or 5. But it was a lot. And that could be good for a drag queen. And we'll see. It might get old really quick. Or it could be giving me life. Depends on my mood. When she started, she was giving pedal to the metal. So, we're going to go with Varum. Varum is the engine Pokemon. She is full force. Full force, not Meet the Queen. Screaming. Going crazy. Her Meet the Queens, her little promo entrance was like, Ah, that little frilly number. I don't know, wasn't doing it for me, but we'll see. She got my poison coverage, steel coverage. So, Varum is our pick for Selena. Selena! Her promo look was really good, though. Next, after Selena. Come on, y'all. Let's be real. It's our winner, Miss Sasha Colby. Come on! Come on! Did you see that promo? Her on that car? Like, that's a po that is a sellable poster. Like, that photographer ate her up and they let her have her moment which she should have obviously sasha is carrie colby's mama drag legend miss content miss content no miss continental she's an icon she's a legend and she's the moment uh i just i hope they bring her in into the workroom last i want every one of those girls to be like like gagged scalped wigless because come on this is sasha's season like if they do her dirty oh my gosh i missed my alien i was locked early when i was thinking about sasha and what pokemon she was going to be i went through her meet the queens she just said how she's your drag queen your favorite drag queen's favorite drag queen i'm just like period period oh i'm so excited and then i thought who could she be who could she be she could be a star she could be anyone I should, I should make her a Paradox Pokemon. But no, we're going to go with Ponyard. Ponyard, you ask, why? Because we're going to get a King Gambit. And a King Gambit has Supreme Overlord. Sasha Colby is the, the Supreme Overlord of this season. I'm saying it right now. If 
they do her dirty they're they're asking for fandom will go wild wild um obviously we're not gonna get king gap until later in the game after half the gyms probably but i'm gonna try to get her as fast as i can we're gonna go with pawning yard first and she's gonna be the ace i cannot let her go she's not gonna go she's not gonna go the only thing is with supreme overlord you only get that ability once people in your party have as a nuzlocke so once they i gotta take them away they gotta go into the box so maybe that you know ability is not gonna really help but come on look at king gambit slash colby obviously obviously after slash colby we got the twins okay we got spice first spice we're black revolutionary okay i was thinking okay let's talk about them together because obviously sugar's with them they're twins one's light happy one's gothic okay okay i know a lot of younger people are excited for them I'm an older lady, older man, older person, so I'm happy for y'all. Um, so Sugar and Spice, and then Meet the Queens. Come on, it was exactly the same. The editors were shady and put it side by side for you all. I, I, I'm just gonna sound like a hater, but they're gonna go home. They're not gonna go home till like later. Come on. I don't know. I don't want to hate. I don't want to hate. So, Sugar and Spice. Spice, let's go over who Spice is going to be first. So, Spice is going to be one of my favorite Pokemon to this gen. Mastiff. Oh, my gosh. I love Mastiff so much. It looks like my dog. I love Hi Bronx. But, yeah. Mastiff. Arr, he's just so mad. <laughs> um, and to counter that... For sugar, we got Fido, Fairy type, Dark type, Yang Yang. They are obviously opposites, opposite typing. I mean, it's gonna evolve into Dark Spawn, so that looks delicious. Sugar and Spice, just Yin and Yang. That's what we went for. So, those are all of the girls for our Season 15 Pokemon Violet Drag Nuzlocke. I am excited. I hope you all tune in. It's going to come out every week. Uh, so, let me explain the rules. So, no potions. I know, scary. Um, I can auto battle. I made that up. It's my Nuzlocke. We're going to do auto battling. And, uh, obviously, if a Pokemon faints, I have to put it in the box and I can't use it again and uh we'll go from there we'll pick it up it's gonna be fun we're gonna go through a gym each week uh with the girl who sashays on the actual show i also have to box them up in the game so if i don't even want to put it into existence let's say robin fierce gets sent home i have to put fletchling in the box i can't use it again <gasps> so i'm limited to these 16 pokemon if there's double chantays I don't even want to think about it. It makes me want to vomit. <laughs> I'm excited. I hope you guys all tune in. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I picked the wrong Pokemon. I probably did. But you know what? I am a procrastinator. And of course I did this last second. Because it's coming out soon. If you haven't checked out the other videos. I made a playlist of the original one I did for season 13. With Simone and Denali and all of them. Oh, such a good season. I think me and Anthony put out some... Our flag means death reviews. Jack and I also finished our UK season four. Go ahead and check that out if you want to see that. I am super excited to do this. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll catch you all when they come out. Until next time, bye.